the third of fourth games here at the Stewart A. Stewart C. Siegel Center here in Richmond, Virginia is about to start as we get into the girls volleyball semifinals, Triple A, as the Stonebridge Bulldogs take on the Atlee Raiders. Tim Blank, we are excited that you are with us here tonight for what promises to be a great night of uh, of volleyball action here on this. If this more, if this, if uh, the earlier games today were any indication we're in for a treat tonight. This is Tim Blank, alongside with me, my color commentator, Taylor Jensen. And we're all getting ready. We're all getting ready to go here for this uh, for this uh, terrific showdown between the Bulldogs and the Raiders. Now they're going to start doing the intros for the Atley Raiders. And, and Tim, these two teams... Uh, really coming out of a very strong regular season scheduling uh, and they've really proven themselves that they belong um, both teams from two teams from the uh, the same district Stonebridge and Langley both here tonight so you know obviously that region up there is deep and it's tough and they're still here both of them so uh, I think that you know teams from up from up in the northern region I should say uh, are, are well represented and then you've got Atlee a team that is 30 and two i mean those kind of records happen maybe once you know in a career for a coach you would think and they seem to consistently put together a good volleyball squad no question about that the raiders certainly hungry and looking for another chance they're looking for a championship and you can certainly see that they are fired up but the stonebridge bulldogs are no slouches having upset having won the northern region themselves so it's going to be interesting to see how this one turns out here this afternoon. Earlier today, we have seen earlier today that we have we have seen some great action between the teams, and we're just about ready to get this one going right this right now. Both fan base is getting loud. Not giant, not giant crowds, but they're loud. At least just down the road in Hanover. Stonebridge, of course, up at Ashburn, Virginia. So there's certainly a couple of teams that have traveled two very different distances. But as we've seen earlier today, distance really doesn't mean much when it comes to how well a team plays in this one because we saw probably one of the closest schools in the earlier game today uh, get absolutely pounded by the Cox Falcons. Yeah, I think that really what's going to be carry over the most is not distance, not fan bases, but the team that's most focused and that executes the best. We see this coming up right here. Megan Byrne sets it up, and we are underway here at the Seagull Center. Raiders getting ready to set things up. They get this one off. Good dig there by the Bulldogs. A good floater over that way. Gets kept alive by the Raiders. Raiders hit it over, back over to the Bulldogs. Bulldogs set it up. They go for the spike. Good block at the front of the line. This time the hit goes well. Atlee trying to get to the early advantage. It goes off of the Stonebridge defender, and it's 1-0 Atlee to start things off. Both teams coming out strong. Unfortunately, that, that the volley had to end, but both playing very well to start out. So we see Atlee setting things up right here. Haley Brooks serving for Atlee. Good play right there, and it goes out of bounds, and the Bulldogs tie the game. I got to tell you, some of these chants that we're already hearing from the Atlee fans are pretty creative. You hear them on the uh, on the serves, yelling "pull." And as we see now, Stonebridge getting ready to Stonebridge now getting ready to set things up. Sarah Fairchild setting up for the serve. There it is, a good dig right there. There's the set. A good spike. They get the block, but they can't keep it away from the other from their own side. And Atlee adds another point to the to the scoreboard. You just hear this coming out from behind us. That's the Stonebridge fans right there coming all the way down from Ashburn. Atlee really showing a lot of ability right there, and a good spike and kill to go up three to one here in the first game. Well, you can, you can almost feel that hit. She hit it so hard, and there's no way Stonebridge is getting in front of that and returning it. Not a question there. 
Casey. There is the serve right there. Trying to get something right there. There it goes. Good spike right there by Atlee, but Stonebridge keeps it alive. Spike attempt right there for the Bulldogs. Great play there by Ryan Ackerman. The Bulldogs and the Raiders both coming out strong. Showing that they can hit the ball. Return some kills. Sydney Gill is going to be serving for the Bulldogs. Here's the serve. Here's a good set, but now they're going to call that one a double, and we are tied. See them coming up right here. Gill setting up to serve once again. There's the serve. Good dig right there. And a good spike right there. Kaylee Moody right there with the spike to put Atlee back on top. When we were talking a little bit before the game at some of the athleticism that Atlee has, and they're showing it off here. They've got the athleticism with the height. See them here. There's the serve right there, but it bounces off the net. Stonebridge ties it up. Going back to it, Ackerman with the serve. There's the set for Atley. Good spike and a good finish right there. That's Clark Tyler there on the on the play. Atley setting up for the serve. A good serve attempt right there, but a great return by the Bulldogs. There's that one. There's the set for Stonebridge. There's the spike over to the near side, and it falls inbounds. And Stonebridge ties it back up again. That's a great hit right there. Finding the open spot on the floor, and not a single Raider was nearby. Both teams wearing rather dark uniforms on this one. Bulldogs are wearing all black with the, with the uh, light blue numbers. There's the serve for Stonebridge. There's the set for Atlee. Put it right where no one was once again, and Atlee takes a 6-5 lead. Here comes the serve attempt right there. There's a good dig there by Stonebridge, and a good kill right there. Libby Haslett. And boy, she absolutely crushed that ball. You had a few Raiders trying to die for it there, and nothing happened. You can't be that quick. Mariah Brantley setting up to serve for Stonebridge. Going for a jump serve, good one right there. Has to set Atley up. They've tried to finesse it over, but Stonebridge not having anything to do with that, but they get the return. There's the set, and a nice floater right over the net and into the ground, Stonebridge takes the lead. This game has been neck and neck so far. No team really starting to get momentum or pull away. There's the hit across. There is the set for Stone for Atley, and Atley manages to get it over. Bounces off the interior of the net. Stonebridge tries to get it back up, but has no luck in doing that. We're tied again at seven. We see Clark Tyler setting up for the serve. And they're going to rule that one out of bounds, and Stonebridge gets the point. Nice break there for Stonebridge, getting the lead back, and now they have an opportunity to capitalize on a mistake from the Raiders. Megan Byrne on the serve, gets it over. Atlee setting it up, good hit over. And it lands out. Stonebridge with the point again, up two. Byrne once again with the serve. There's the set. Good spike, but a good dig right there to keep the ball alive. And a floater right there almost fakes out the Raider defense, but they can't get it done. Good effort right there. Stonebridge just finding ways to keep it alive. There's the floater right there, and it falls in. Stonebridge takes a three-point lead. Stonebridge, of course, no stranger to this, uh, this round in the postseason. They've had four state tournament appearances and twice in the semifinals. They'd like there, to get the job done this year. There's the serve right there by Stonebridge. Atley comes back with another great dig to keep it alive. There it is over there, but it sails out of bounds. 
Atley gets the point. I would be remiss if I did not give if I did not give a credit over there to Sarah Fairchild, who is playing lights out at the moment. There's the serve and it bounces off the net, and it's 11 to 8 Stonebridge. Haley Brooks not having a lot of luck there on that, and here comes Fairchild with the serve. She gets it over. Atley starts to set it up. There's the spike, and it rules out of bounds, 12 to 8. A great heads up there by Ashley Fairchild to know that that ball was sailing out of bounds. And Fairchild with the serve again. Here's the dig for Atley. They can't get it over and across. Point to Stonebridge. It's now 13 to 8. Stonebridge on a 6 to 1 run right now. Fairchild once again with the serve. She gets it across. A good dig right there. There's the set. Good kill. Kaylee Moody trying to get her team fired up. Gets the ball across and now makes it 13 to 9. So we see Ka Kayla Blackmore setting up for the kick. And that one goes out of bounds right there. That's two consecutive points for Atley, making it 13 to 10. Set it up right there. There's a set up right there. Good way to keep it over to the Atlee side. And a nice block there at the front of the line by Stonebridge makes it 14 to 10. A great job by Stonebridge to basically put up an iron curtain right there at that net. Nothing really getting through. As we see now, Sydney Gill. Setting up the serve for Stonebridge. There's the set for Atley. Atley gets it over. Now Stonebridge starting to set it up. They get it over. Trying to work out some spacing issues right there, but a kill attempt, and Atley keeps it alive. And that one's going to land in. Put that right on the back edge of the line, kept it in, and Atley is down three. Atley trying to cut into this lead. Still very manageable. There's the serve right there. Stonebridge setting it up. Floater right there. A lot of finesse as Shannon Williams. That's just finding the open spot on the floor and getting the ball there. Stonebridge is doing a great job of that right now. No questions here. There's the set right there. And the spike and a good save there by Fairchild. And a good spike right there. Wow. Oh, man. That is just raw power from the Bulldogs. No way that's getting returned. All you can do is duck for cover. No question about that. I believe that was Ryan Ackerman who, got, who gets credit for that one. There she goes with the serve. Atley setting up the return. That time they float it over and they get that and they get the point. Yeah, great heads up play there to know that that block was coming hard. You could just lob it right over the top. Rachel Stanford there with the serve. Stonebridge keeps it going. They get it over. Atlee setting it up now. There's the spike, and it lands right where no one is. It's now 16-13. We see them coming up right here. Atlee with the serve coming up, down three points. There's the serve. Lands on the net, and Stonebridge is going to go back up four. You said in the earlier game, those are the kind of mistakes that you need to avoid at this stage of the tournament. Yeah, you can't afford to give up mistakes to teams that are at this, at this level because they'll capitalize on them every time. Atley gets it over, lands inbounds, and they cut the lead down to two. Down to one, I should say, now 17 to 14.
There's the serve there by Atley. Good dig that time, but it lands out of bounds, and now Atley is down only two. Good moves right there, good spike, but Stonebridge keeps it alive. They back it up. They try to get the block, but it still clears the, it clears the line. Ball sails out of bounds, trying to get the block. But the ball's just going too quick. 18-15, our score here in the first set, in the first game. Atley setting it up. Taylor trying to go for something, but Stonebridge keeps it alive. A good one right there. There's the bump. There's the set. There's the spike, but Stonebridge still keep it going. There's the set and the spike. Atley trying to their best to keep it in, and they managed somehow to get it over. But that spike almost doesn't work. Atley still trying to set it up. They get it over. Another floater right there, but that time Atley was ready. But there's the spike right there. What's the call? The call is be out. out. Point to Stonebridge, and it's now 19-15. That was a great exchange there. Atley playing great defense, returning all those kills from Stonebridge. We see Mariah Brantley set to serve. Good jump serve right there. Atley with the set. There's the spike, but a good block. But it lands out of bounds. Point to Atley. There's the serve right there. Stonebridge trying to set things up right there. Here's the spike attempt. Yeah, but it's dug out by Atley. They keep it going. And there's a good attempt right there, but Atley still has the ball alive. Fairchild gets it, but no one else is going to get to it. And Atley cuts the lead back down to two. Got a good first set here on our hands. There's the serve right there. A little more finesse on that rather than power. Atley keeps it alive. They get it across. Now Stonebridge tries to set something up. Back over to Atley. Atley sets it up. There's the spike, but it goes off the hands of Stonebridge. And the Raiders pulled it within one. Raiders on a nice little run here. Slowly but surely been clawing their way back into the Stonebridge lead. And now they find themselves on the verge of tying. Serve coming up by Clark Tyler. She gets it across, dug out. But Stonebridge manages to keep it across. That's four hits, and we have a tied first half. 19 all here. It's the first to 25, and you got to win by two. Tyler setting up for the serve. Again, a little more finesse on that one. Stonebridge sets it up, but oh! They set it up, but they miss the tap. And Atley takes the lead. Yeah, the timing was just a little off. Set was a little high. Just not clicking on that one. And they are, and Stonebridge is going to take a timeout here. Down one after leading by so many here early on. I mean, the Bulldogs look like that they had the first set fairly well in hand. But now all of a sudden, Atley... All of a sudden, Atley just comes out of nowhere and really starts storming back. And we just hear both fan bases just going back and forth between each other. Yeah, we've got two teams really going at it, two fan bases right next to each other, both going at it as well. It'll be interesting to see what happens coming out of this timeout with Atley taking the lead. Here they come out of the out of the timeout. Tyler trying to give her team the lead. A little more of a lead, I should say. Stonebridge trying to tie the game back up. There's the spike attempt. Floats over, and it lands, and we're tied again at 20. And these next 
few points or whoever can manage to rattle off the next couple of points is going to steal all the momentum. There's the serve right there, dug out by Atley. Good return on their part. Stonebridge sets it up. They float it over, but Atley keeps it alive. But as does Stonebridge. There's the floater right there, and it falls in. 21-20. Stonebridge really wanting to close out this set and take the 1-0 lead. So we see Byrne with the serve. Stonebridge Atley has to dive to get that one. Stonebridge keeps it alive, but they hit it across. Atley now gets it over. The block attempt fails, and it's 21 all. Twenty-one all here in the first set. There's the there's the serve right there. Stonebridge gets it across. Atlee trying to figure something out. They got to get it over. Oh, but it bounces off the Atlee defender. Stonebridge back up one now. Only need three points to get to twenty-five and close this out. But remember. You got to win by two. So one team is going to have to pull away here. Just a smidgen. There's a serve right there by Fairchild. She gets it over. Here's the set and the spike. Lands in bounds and it's 22 all. If this game is any indication to how this, the rest of this match is going to go, I think we're in for a treat. See Atlee coming over with it. Stonebridge with the set. There's the spike. Forces back M Melanie Snyder. Fairchild digs it out and returns it. Here's the spike attempt. And Stonebridge gets it in there. 23 to 22. Now we got a substitution. Well, we got a timeout first. Timeout, Atlee. Both teams using their timeout to begin with. We're going to go ahead and step aside for a quick break here on the VHSL network. And uh, we will be right back after that. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're going to come at you. One shot at this. And we're back here. There's the serve. Trying to dig it out. There's a good spike right there, but Stonebridge keeps it alive. Stonebridge with their own spike. Atlee keeps it going themselves. Another spike right there, and it's in. Atlee ties it up. And boy, this game is just seems like it's not going to end. Neither team is really willing to give up. Both teams are going to be scrapping all night long. Melanie Snyder setting up for the serve. There's the serve, it gets over. There's the set for Stonebridge and the spike. Snyder manages to dig it out, but that time she wasn't so lucky and now it's game point. Game point, Stonebridge is serving. This is big. 24-23, Stonebridge wins this point. They win, they win the round. And Atley is going to use their second timeout. So Atley just trying to find any kind of momentum whatsoever here to try to extend this. If they can at least get this next round right, if they can at least get this next point right here, they will at least stave off the Bulldogs, at least temporarily. Yeah, I, I think right now Atley has got to be on the defensive and they got to be ready for, for any types of 
uh, of schemes or trick plays or anything like that that Stonebridge could throw at him. And they come back. Here comes Stonebridge, ready to do it. Ryan Ackerman with the serve. Atley digs out. There's the set and the spike. And then Stonebridge keeps, keeps it alive, gets it over. Atley with the spike and a great block, and Stonebridge takes the first game. Stonebridge ends it with an exclamation point, flexing the muscle. Hold on a second. We're just trying to figure something out. And the teams are going to be switching sides right now. Just a, a very impressive first half on both sides of this. I really think we might be in for a treat for the rest of the for the rest of the afternoon here for this game. This absolutely phenomenal job by both of the, by both uh, teams by both teams there in the first there in the first so we're going to go ahead and step aside for a quick break here on the VHSL network Stonebridge taking advantage taking advantage and winning the first set 25 to 20 one match away from immortality this is a total team effort. We're gonna come at you. One shot. Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. And we're back here at the Siegel Center in Richmond, Virginia. Game two about to start between the Stonebridge Bulldogs and the Atley Raiders in the VHSL Girls Volleyball Semifinals AAA Division. What a thrilling first game that was between the Bulldogs and the, Ra and the Raiders. If that's any indication of how the rest of this game is going to go, I'm excited. This has been a, uh, a, a very intense game so far. Neither team was able to really pull away there in the first half or the first set, I should say. And Stonebridge just gutted it out in the last few points of the game of the match and managed to squeak out set number one. They certainly want to find some way. Stonebridge now looking for a way to take even more advantage of it to possibly get a 2-0 lead in this game. If they can get a 2-0 lead in this game and put the pressure back on Atley, it's really going to work in their favor, I would think. Yeah, if you can manage to take the second set and go up two to nothing, I mean, you're pretty much in control. The only person, the only way that you can lose is if you manage to just let off the let off the gas. So we see as we see Atlee setting up the serve. Haley Brooks with the toss. Here goes the jump serve. Good serve on the part of Atley right there, and they get it down. Kaylee Moody puts Atley on the board first. Atley comes up once again. There's the serve. Stonebridge keeps it alive. There's the spike right there. Beautiful job by Sidney Gill. Quick little substitution right there for the Bulldogs. Fairchild setting up the serve. She gets it over. Good dig there by Atley. And a nice little floater, but Stonebridge prepared for that one. Atley gets that one across. 
and Stonebridge with a nice little floater. Ryan Ackerman, the 5'11", the 5'11", middle hitter, puts them up two to not two to one. And Stonebridge really wanting to climb out to an early lead here. And that is not going to help things right there as it just goes out beyond the reach of Megan Byrne. Atlee ties it up at two. Kyla Blackmore sets it up. There's the hit back over to this side. Nice floater right there. And Atlee caught off guard, so Stonebridge takes the lead once again. And Ryan Ackerman is really doing a good job of helping her team succeed right now, especially early on in this set. There's the serve. Snyder with a good dig. Good spike right there by Atlee to tie the game back up. And anytime Stonebridge is scoring, Atlee is responding, but you can't just trade points with Stonebridge. You gotta go on a run. Snyder setting up for the kick here. For the, for the serve, I should say. Jump serve this time, a little different than what we're used to seeing. Fairchild has to dig it out, but gets it a little off target. Atlee takes the lead, four to three. So we get a little souvenir over on this end. Snyder's gonna set up once again for the serve. Once again, a jump serve, G gets that one. Hits the top of the net, but it's still in play. Stonebridge sets it up, there's the spike. Floats out of bounds, and it's a tie game once again. Just too much mustard on it. Trying to get to that back corner though, it was there. Ryan Ackerman setting things up right there. There's the serve. There's the bump in the set. There's the spike, but a good block there by Stonebridge keeps the ball alive. At that time, they had him everyone flowing the near side and they hit it gently over to the far side to take the lead. See, here comes the serve coming up from Rachel Stanford. There's the set. Not quite a good bump. It lands in bounds. Atlee now takes a two point lead. So Atlee going on a nice run here. On a 3 0 run against the Bulldogs. There's a serve right there by Stonebridge. Lands out of bounds. Stonebridge gets the point and the ball. There's the serve. There's the hit over to the other side. Landed just right in the front of Ackerman. And she wasn't prepared for that one. Atlee really coming out strong here in this second set. Trying to avoid going into that 2-0 hole. There's the set and the spike. Libby Haslett. Great hustle by Atlee to try to return it, but just not quite quick enough. So they send it back to Mariah Brantley to set it up. There's the serve. And it winds up hitting the ground, and Brantley does a great job right there. And we are tied up once again at seven. This is just like what happened in the first game. Neither team can pull away. The second you think one's about to, they go on a run. Brantley with the jump serve. Atlee sets it up. There's a spike attempt, but Brantley right there to keep it up. There's the set and the spike. Lands inbounds, and the Bulldogs take the lead. Ryan Ackerman is just dominating this game right now. More specifically, this set. Atlee just doesn't have an answer for Going to give it back to Brantley. Will Lightning strike a third time for the senior? There's the serve right there. Good return there by Snyder. And a great spike that time by Atley. Heavens to, heavens to mercy, man. I mean, <laughs> neither team 
finding any kind of finding any kind of uh, momentum right here. And as we see, uh, it looks like Melanie Snyder is going to be taking a bit of a rest. There's the serve. Floats out of bounds, and Stonebridge gets the point. Stonebridge now getting the serve up, up by one. You'd think at some point a team will manage to, to rack off a few. You would think, but as the first game indicated, that that might not be the thing to find right there. Atley ties it up with a nice gentle tap over the net. This absolutely even right here. Just no team finding any kind of momentum against each other. So we see Haley Brooks setting up for the for the serve. Good dig out there by Melissa Fairchild, but it floats out of bounds. And it's now 10 to 9 Atley. Here's the serve right there. There's the serve. Fairchild gets it up. They got to set it up right there. There's the spike attempt. Good return by the Raiders. The Raiders try to keep it in. They keep it alive. They get it across. That time the tapper gets it back across, but now Adley has it set. There's the spike. Good return there by Stonebridge. Adley once again with the set and the spike. Once again, Stonebridge keeps it alive. There's the spike attempt. Snyder keeps it alive for the Raiders. Fairchild keeps it alive for the, for the Bulldogs. A couple more taps. Neither team finding a way. Snyder gets it back up. And a good spike right there to win that rally. That one seemed like it was never going to end, but Alley comes away with it. Now they find themselves up two. That's coming up on the biggest lead of the game that we've seen so far. No question about that. Brooks with the serve. And they are going to rule that one in. No, they're going to rule it out, and they're going to give it to Stonebridge. Surprise. Close call. That is a close call over here. That one could have gone either way very easily. Fairchild with the serve. There's the set and the spike, but the Bulldogs keep it alive. They got to get it over on this attempt. They managed to do that. And there's the attempt right again. There's that, and that one lands out of bounds, and Atlee takes another two-point lead. There's a serve by Kyla Blackmore. It's going to land out of bounds. Stonebridge. Stonebridge in a position that they're not really used to being in, not being in the lead. They're looking to try to change that right now. There's the serve. Gets Snyder backing up. Fairchild keeps it going forward. Stonebridge gets it across, but now Atley setting it up. There's the spike attempt. But the Bulldogs keep it alive. There's the spike. And no, they're going to rule that that one was out. And they're going to give it. They're, they're going to say it was in. But, they're, but the head official right there is ruling that it's The head official just corrected it. So Atley up 13 to 11 now. Snyder setting up for the serve here. Good little serve, but it bounces off the net. And it's now 13 to 12. There's the serve. Little bump right there. Good spike right there, but Fairchild manages to dig it out. Stonebridge keeps it alive. Good little exchange right there. There's the set for Atley and the spike. They get the block. Atley trying to find some way to do it to get the point. Good floater right there, but it's going to land out of bounds. Point to Atley. Stonebridge keeps cutting into the lead one point, but they can't seem to tie it up. Atlee now with an opportunity here to really start taking a uh, handle on this game. Rachel Stanford with the serve. 
There's the set and the spike. Good block, but it's going to be out of bounds. Point to the Bulldogs. We'll see now if Stonebridge can knot it up here. They've had plenty of opportunities. Shannon Williams serving for the Bulldogs. Good return right there. Clark Tyler with the return to put to put Atlee back up two. Again, Stonebridge getting a chance to knot it up and Atlee closes the door. No timeout spent on either side. Carly Super with the serve. Stonebridge has the set. There's the spike. There's the set right there. There's the dig. Bulldogs can't get some good spacing. Fairchild gets it back over in time before they get called for the point. But a good kill right there for Atlee. Puts him up three. If I'm not mistaken, this is the biggest lead we've seen today. I think it might be right on that, Taylor. And you and if it's not now, if it wasn't then, it is now. Atlee starting to pull away here in the second game. Stonebridge gonna take their first time out. So you see that going on right now. They're going to go ahead and take a break here. We're gonna go ahead and step. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. And we're back here on the on the VHSL network. Atley and Stonebridge here in the second game. The Raiders now with a 17-13 lead. There's the serve. Stonebridge trying to get back into this one. There's the spike, but a good block right there by Atley. Raiders try to get it back across. They get it back across. There's the set for Stonebridge and the spike. They tried a good effort right there, but it's going to fall down. Point to Stonebridge, and it's now 17 to 14. Well, Stonebridge desperately needing to go on a run here because Atley seems to be going, clicking on all cylinders, and Stonebridge just hasn't found an answer. You see Mariah Brantley set to serve. She's been a pretty good server for the, for the Bulldogs all day. They get that one over. There's the set and the spike. They get it in. Raiders trying to get one of their own, and they get it. Clark Tyler yet again. There they come up to, up to the top right there. There's the serve. Tyler gets it across. There's the spike. Raiders now trying to set something up. They get the spike. But not the point. Bulldogs once again. They try to get a little finesse, but there's that. It goes off the block, and it lands harmlessly. Atley now up 19 to 14. Atley is absolutely sitting pretty right now with a nice cushion. There's the serve right there. But they're going to get Stonebridge for crossing the line, and now it's 20 to 14. The Atley Raiders going on such an impressive run right here. Up six now on Stonebridge. But that serve didn't help them right there. It's now going to be 20 to 15. Serve attempt coming up here by Megan Byrne. Gets it across. There's the bump right there, the set, and the spike, and a slip by Snyder gives Stonebridge the point. Stonebridge has to get something going. They are just running out of precious time. You do not want to have this get tied back up, but if you're Atley, you are happy with the way you've been playing, and their coach is definitely showing that right now. There's the serve for Stonebridge. 
And a good play right there. Stonebridge keeps it over on the Atlee side. And that one falls inbounds. That's going to be a point for Stonebridge. Now down three. Twenty to seventeen right now here in the second game. Megan Byrne setting up for the serve. She gets it across. There's the set, the spike, and it's a good play there. Atley now four points away from taking the first, taking the second game. See, one thing I'm noticing is Atley is really doing a good job of seeing where these spots are in the floor that Stonebridge just cannot get to. And they're setting their hitters up perfectly. Haley Brooks right there with the serve for Atley. Good spike right there. Stonebridge now down three. Here comes Sarah Fairchild trying to get her team back into it. There's the bump and the spike. But a good dig there by Stonebridge keeps it alive. They float it back over, and it's going to land out of bounds. Point to the Raiders. There's the serve right there. There's the bump, the set. Here comes the spike attempt. They tried to finesse it over, but Atlee there to block it regardless. That time they don't mess around with it. There's the set and the spike. Good block there by Stonebridge, but they somehow managed to get it back over on Stonebridge's side. Stonebridge keeping it alive. And they managed somehow to keep it alive. Atlee trying now to figure something out. They get that in, bounces off, it goes back over. Atlee with the spike, and it goes inbounds. Holy cow. Stonebridge takes a timeout after that one. And boy, Stonebridge is just absolutely playing on their heels now. Been backed into a corner. And Atlee's landing blow after blow. Just when you think that Stonebridge might be able to get some momentum back on their side, they just lose it. You hear the Atlee Raiders chants going on right now. They're setting things up to go right here. Kyla Blackmore setting things up to try and make this happen. There's the serve. Floats it, and it's 23 to 19. We see Sydney Gill setting up for the for the Bulldogs. Gill with the serve. Gets it across. Good spike right there, and it gets Megan Fairchild on her heels. And now we bring up game point for the Raiders. And Stonebridge not going to quit, but if they lose this set, they've got to bounce back. Here comes Snyder with the serve. Good serve right there. Fairchild gets it up. There's the set and the spike. Atlee now trying to do the something. That's the clincher right there. And Atlee has tied this match up. Tied at one apiece. Great job by Atlee to respond after dropping the first set and avoiding the 2-0 hole. No question about that. That is impressive as all get out for the Atlee Raiders to even this game back up. So that is a very fantastic job on their part at the end of two games. We're tied at one with two with them splitting both games. It's become a best of three, so let's go ahead, step aside for a moment, and we will be back with game number three here on the VHSL Network. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're gonna come at you. 
One shot at this. Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. And we're back here on the VHSL Network. It's a best of three now between the Atlee, Atlee Raiders and the Stonebridge Bulldogs to see who reaches the state championship game set here for Saturday night. Raiders and the Bulldogs now setting things up here for game number three. And it's all even right here between these two teams. And it's been very, very evenly matched between these teams up until just a moment ago where Atley pulled that one away from uh, where Atley pulled that one away pulled away from the uh, from the Bulldogs. But if I know the Bulldogs, I know that they're not done just yet. Yeah, bull, the Bulldogs are here for a reason. I mean, both teams only have two losses on their schedule, so I'm pretty sure they've been in this position before. I mean, it's still early in the game. It's only one set to one set. But at the same time, you don't want to give up the momentum and go down 2-1. to one. You don't want to go down ever. But neither of these teams are, are strangers to tied upsets or coming back from behind because when you have 30 and 27 wins, you've had a few, a few comeback wins in that schedule. No questions here as we get set to start the third game right here. Sydney, uh, Megan Byrne with the opening serve of game number three. Atley with the spike, but it tips off of Fairchild, and Atley gets the first point. Now the serve is in the hands of Haley Brooks. But that one lands right into the helmet, into the net, and uh, <laughs> for the second time this afternoon, the uh, barricades that are right behind us have fallen down. We'll credit that to the crowd just being that into the game. There's the serve there by Stonebridge. Atley with the set. There's the spike, but a good block by the Raiders. Or the Bulldogs, I should say. Good play right there. And the Raider and the Bulldogs. I'm, I'm getting all sorts of confused here. <laughs> <laughs> so much going on here on the ground. It's hard to keep track of it. Two to one. Here comes Fairchild with the serve. She gets that one off. There's the set. Good spike right there, but Stonebridge keeps it alive. Nice floater right there, but not much else on that. There's the hit right there. That one is going to land out of bounds, and it's going to be tied at two. Looks like they're getting the barriers reset up. They're breaking them down like 16-year-olds at a Bieber concert. <laughs> there's, the, there's the slap right over there, the serve, I should say. That one lands. They're going to rule it out. Point to Atley. Three two the score now. Stonebridge trying to get back into this. Good floater right there. There's the bump. There's the set. Good nice little weak spike right there by Atley. Snyder sets it up. There's the hit over the top over to Stonebridge. Setting things up. Fairchild now trying to set it up. There's that right over there. They set it up. Snyder gets it up with the spike and it bounces off Stonebridge. And Atley takes a two-point lead. Atley really starting to seize control. Rattling off a nice little run here. There's the hit right there. There's the set and the spike. It's coming over here to this side, but Atley manages to keep it alive. But Snyder has to get it over. She manages to do it. I don't know how she got that one over. Getting all kinds of breaks for the Raiders. 
No kidding. That one goes out, and they're going to rule that it went off of Stonebridge. Atley now takes a 5-2 lead. They set things up right here. There's the serve. Fairchild digs it out. Here's the set. Good spike right there, and it's going to land out of bounds. Point to the Bulldogs. So Stonebridge needs to rattle off at least one or two here to get within, you know, get a tie or at least make it a one-point game. There's a serve right over there. Good serve on that end. Gets that one across. Stone, oh man. Atley just did not, had a breakdown in communication right there. It leads to Stonebridge pulling to within one. Yeah, that's just, you said it, a breakdown in communication. It can cost you points, and we see right there. There's a the serve right there. The bump. There's the set right there. Gets that one over. But now here comes Atley once again with an opportunity. There's the spike. Good bump there by the Bulldogs to keep it in play. But that one, unfortunately, Shannon Williams puts it in the wrong spot, and Atley is back up too. And yeah, we've seen that, that move a few times today. He's trying a little tap right over the back, but only seen it work a couple of times. It's tough to do. There's a serve right there for Atley. Stonebridge sets it up. Good floater right there, but a good effort by Snyder to keep the ball going. Good dig right there by Stonebridge to keep it alive. And a good spike right there, and it goes off of Stonebridge. It's now seven. No, they're going to rule that that one went out of bounds before hitting anyone, so it's now six to five. Here's the play over to here. Good floater right there. They faked him. Good play right over there. There's the tip right there. The bump goes back over. Just a lot of action going on here on the floor. No one really seeming to get a kill out of this. Until just then, and it's going to go over to Stonebridge because it went out of bounds, and we are tied at six. There's the serve right there. And that one goes out of bounds. Atley gets the ball and the point. And those are some costly mistakes right there again. You cannot afford those because every time you make a mistake like that, it's a point for the other team. There's the serve right there. Stonebridge gets it back across. Atley puts it back up. There's the next hit right there. Good floater right there, but now Stonebridge has the setup. Goes off of the off of the off of that. It's going to be ruled a double on Stonebridge. Adley is going to go up eight to six. Critical third set right here. Both teams tied at one set apiece. There's the serve. Stonebridge manages to keep that one alive. Good play right there. They still managed to keep it alive. But the one fist did. But the one fist not enough to get the ball back over the, over the net. And again, another breakdown of communication, but for Stonebridge this time. And it results in a point and an extension of this lead for Atley. Atley with a good point right there. Stonebridge now in trouble trying to get it back over. They managed to do it. But a good... Spike right there, but Stonebridge keeps it alive, and they get the rally to pull within two. You know, I, I got to be honest with you. Ryan Ackerman is pretty much playing the most balanced, efficient game that we're seeing out on the floor right now. She's kind of doing it all for the Bulldogs. No questions here. There's the spike, but a good a, a dig right there by Stonebridge to keep it alive. Atlee's trying to set something up right there. There's the spike, and they find the open spot to take a 10-7 lead.
Carly Suber setting up right there for the for the serve. It's that one back over. At least setting up. There's the spike. Stonebridge keeps it alive. But that one goes off the fingers of Snyder, and it's a point to Stonebridge. So Stonebridge pulls back within two. They were in this position almost the entire time the last set, but never could really break into the lead and take retake control. It's almost deja vu. All over again. And wouldn't you know it right there, Atlee gets the point. Now up 11 to eight against Stonebridge. There's the serve right there. Stonebridge keeps it alive and they keep it in play. There's the set and the spike, but Fairchild keeps it in play as well. Good play right there. The Raiders managed to find a way to keep it alive, but not for long as it falls as it falls, and the point goes to the Bulldogs. And you can credit that to a miscommunication also or lack thereof because two players both went for the ball and they kind of collided with each other as they hit it. Served by Stonebridge. Nice kill over there on the far side. Kaylee Moody. Haley Brooks is now going to serve this one for the Raiders. There's the jump serve right there. She floats it, though, and Stonebridge is now down two. Fairchild with the serve. Good play right there. And a good uh, kill attempt right there, but just floated it a little too far. Yeah, again, they've got the right idea. They saw where the opening was. Just didn't get on top of the ball enough. Here's a return right there for, St for Atlee. There's the spike. That one goes out of bounds, and now it's the two-point game once again. Again, Atlee, no stranger to the semifinals. They made it to the state finals last year and lost in five, so they'd like to return. And Stonebridge botches the serve right there to put Atlee back up 14, 14 to 11. And Stonebridge obviously made it to the uh, semifinals last year, lost to uh, Kellum in three, and so they'd like to right that wrong. Good dig there by Fairchild to keep the play going. That one's going to be ruled out of bounds, and it's now 15 to 11, Atley. They set this one back up. 15 to 11, our score. There's the serve, but it goes right into the net, 15 to 12. And there's a nice break for Stonebridge, but a costly mistake for Atlee. They're not committing too many of those, though. There's a serve by Stonebridge. There's the bump and the spike. Fairchild digs it out to keep the play alive. Stonebridge keeps it going. Ball floating in the air. Here comes Atlee trying to get it over. Stonebridge, there's the set and the spike. Lands out of bounds, and Atlee takes a four-point lead once again. And just real quick, Melanie Snyder from Atlee, she's their libero. Uh, she is just, she's number 22 out on the floor. She is playing very impressive today, just diving on the floor, not, a, not afraid to sacrifice the body to make a play. Rachel San Stanford with the, with the play right there. Raiders finding a way to keep it alive. Get it back over to Stonebridge's side. Stonebridge can't get it going there. That time they get it up and they get it over. Somehow they keep it alive. Atlee with the kill and they end up being successful. 17 to 12.
And Stonebridge is going to take a timeout here. So just overall, a fantastic performance so far. We're going to go ahead and step aside for a moment. We'll be right back with more here on the VHSL Network. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're gonna come at you. One shot. At this. And we're back here on the VHSL Network. Atlee leading Stonebridge here in the third game of this Virginia High School League semifinal for Triple-A. As we see them coming up right here, Atlee with an opportunity to really take a stranglehold on this one as we see Rachel Stanford setting up to serve. Gets that one across. Stonebridge with the bump. There's the set and the spike, but not good enough for Atley to do it. Atley gets it back. It's going backwards, and it falls to the ground. It's now 18 to 12. Atley really running away with this one. Looking to go up two sets to one over the Bulldogs. There's the serve right there for Atley. Stonebridge returns it pretty well. There's the serve back. And a nice play right up at the net there by Clark Tyler to put it up 19 to 12. Only six points to pay dirt for this set. There's the serve right there. Stonebridge with the nice dig. And they can't set it up any, any better on that. So it's See now 20 to 12. Atley just running away with game number three. And the Bulldogs just don't have any answers. They are in a slump if I've ever seen one. There's the serve there by Stonebridge. By Atley, I should say. Stonebridge with the setup. Gets it back over. Atley with the spike over there. And Stonebridge gets it right there. And they're going to rule that it's out of bounds. And Stonebridge couldn't buy, and Stonebridge can't buy a break with a $100 bill for heaven's sakes. There's the serve right there. It goes back. It's over top that time right there. Sets this one up. There's the spike over and then lands right in there. Tell you right now, head coach Dill Rasator has got to ha has got to get through to her girls here if uh, she's going to find well the, the problem is obviously Atley has the momentum but Stonebridge is playing like Atley has the momentum too they're they're hanging their heads they're they're not moving their feet anymore or or, or really they're really just kind of dragging because they're down instead of seeing it as a challenge to fight back you can't just give up when you see yourself down that's very true on this, and you know, as you said at the beginning of the day, you said yourself that, that volleyball is a game of momentum. You if, never want to play like the other team has the momentum, exactly. though. Exactly, and you know, if you play like the other team has the momentum, that doesn't bode well for Stonebridge entering entering uh, game number four. There's the serve there by Atley. Stonebridge sets it up, but no, they get called for a double, and Atley is two points away from taking a 2-1 lead. There's the serve right there for Stone for Atley. Atley sets it up. Stonebridge gets it over. There's the setup and there's the spike. That one is going to rule that that was in, and now it's game point for the Raiders. And boy, Stonebridge really has to come up with some answers next set on how they're going to avoid dropping that and losing this match. There's the serve by Atley. 
Stonebridge sets it up. There's the spike. Snyder keeps it up. And the spike right there, but somehow Atley keeps it alive. Stonebridge now has it. They keep it going. And that one goes off, and it's going to land inbounds. Point and game to Atley. Atley ends that game on, I believe, a, a 9-0 run. Impressive. Very impressive indeed. You just look at that right there. Bulldogs get absolutely rolled in this third game and now find themselves staring at elimination here in Richmond. Before we enter game number four. So we're going to step aside here for a break and we will be back with the fourth game of this set after these messages on the VHSL network. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're going to come at you. One shot at this. Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. And we're back here on the VHSL Network for game four of this set. Atley, one game away from the state championship game, up after defeating the Stonebridge Bulldogs 25 to 12 in the second game. So the Raiders are going to be looking for something here. They're gonna be looking to clinch this one. They are going to be looking to clinch. And Stonebridge has a lot of work to do if they want to claw back into this and walk away with a trip to the state finals. We certainly hope that uh, head co that head coach Joe Rashator said some motivating things to work girls on in that last pregame huddle because the, because the Bulldogs are staring at the end of their season if they cannot manage to get 25 points here. Here come the Bulldogs to start things off. Serve attempt right there. Good floater right there, but the, but Atlee manages to get it back. There's the spike right there. And Atlee takes the early point right away. Now Atley setting up once again. There's that right there and it lands inbounds and they will get a point for that. That's Stonebridge's first point in quite a while. Yeah, again, they, they lost the last set on, on roughly, I, I believe it was a 9-0 run. It could have been more. There's a serve by Fairchild. And it goes right into the net, and Stonebridge takes the lead once again. Yeah, Stonebridge will take that any day. They'd be Stonebridge. happy if Atlee managed to make a few more mistakes like Stonebridge that. Stonebridge wanting to get the momentum back on their side to force a fifth set, and it's moments like that that'll help the Bulldogs get there. Just to remember, everyone, I mean, we are not finished with, the, with uh, volleyball tonight. There's the serve by Fairchild again. Atley with the bump. There goes with the set. There's the spike right there, but Fairchild digs it right out. There's the setup for the Bulldogs. Floater right there. Who has it? And they managed to get over. Four to one, Stonebridge. Boy, Stonebridge, where has this been? Where was that the last game? 
Just to say, folks, we're not done here tonight. Fairchild with the serve. They get it across. Kellum gets it. But they're going to rule a double there by, they're going to rule a palm there on Stonebridge. So it's going to be 4-2. to two. Yep, they're going to call the lift. You can't be picking the ball up like that, basically. Right. There's the hit over the edge. There's that, and there's the spike right there. And that one just does not work out for the Bulldogs. And that lead draws to within one. There's the serve right there. There's the set for Stonebridge. And what a nice little, pretty little floater that was by Carly Suber to tie the game up right here. Again, Stonebridge got caught kind of in a daze there on the back row, not backing up the front line. There's the serve right there. Stonebridge setting it up. There's the spike. Goes off of Adley defenders, but they keep it alive. And a good block right there by Stonebridge regains the lead. That was Ryan Ackerman there. She's doing everything she can right now to keep her team in it. Being that senior leadership that every team needs. I mean, looking at this as well. There's the serve coming up. There's the bump in the set. There's the spike over. It's going to go out of bounds. And Stonebridge takes a two-point lead. Here they come setting up. There's the spike. There's the bump. There's the set. And no, they're going to rule that she went over the line. And Stonebridge now has a three-point lead. Nice start to this set for Stonebridge. They're playing with desperation right now, trying to avoid losing this set. They are hungry like the wolf on this one. Stonebridge setting it up. There's the spike, and they get another point, eight to four. And that was left-handed by Ryan Ackerman. Now, from what I've seen, she's righty. Time, that's impressive. Timeout, Atley. You can see the momentum clearly shifting back in the favor of the Stonebridge Bulldogs. Now up eight to four here in the fourth set. If the fourth set is decided, is won by Stonebridge, we will go to a fifth set where only 15 points will be needed to win the entire match. And that's when pressure really piles up. And we've got an interesting scenario here because every time we've seen Stonebridge jump out to a big lead, Atley has struggled to make the comeback. So Atley finds themselves in a hole now going into the remaining the remainder of set four. So Atley coming back out here onto the floor, trying to get themselves back together to try and come from behind and clinch this set. But Stonebridge clearly with the momentum now as Sidney Gill sets up for the serve. There's the serve right there as Snyder bumps it. There's the set. They get it across. Bulldogs keep it alive. There's a good little hit across. Back over to Atley's side. Atley hits it back over. That one, you're going to rule that it was off the Bulldogs. And Atley now pulls it to within uh, pulls it to within three. So we see Snyder coming up right now. Melanie Snyder trying to come up with something. There's the spike right there, kind of a floater, but it still works. They get it across. There's the set and the spike by Melanie Taylor. But Fairchild keeps it alive for Stonebridge. Atley setting that one up. Good spike right there. My goodness. Man, that was shot out of a rocket. It went so fast. We see now Snyder setting up for the for the uh, serve once again. Fairchild bumps it. There's the set and the spike, and it lands in Stonebridge after letting uh, Atley cut the lead in half. Now has a three now has a three point lead. Yeah. 
There's the serve by Stone by Stonebridge. The bump. There's the spike over right there. Snyder gets it ready for Atley. Melanie Taylor can't get it over the net. And it's 11 to 6 now. And it's 10 to 6 now, I should say. And that was another costly mistake by Atley. Stonebridge just wanting to keep that momentum going. A very quick serve. Fairchild digs it out right there. Atley keeps it alive. And Atley manages to put that one away. And Ackerman with a nice hustle, diving on the floor. Again, she's not scared to put her body down there and dive on the hardwood to try to save the play. Rachel Stanford setting up here for at for Atley. Stonebridge now has it set. There's the hit over there. It lands out of bounds, so it's 11 to seven now. Stonebridge seems to have woken up after that third set. There's the serve by Stonebridge. The bump, the set, they spike it over. But no, they're gonna say that it went off of the pole. So it's now 12 to seven Stonebridge. The Bulldogs coming alive after seemingly falling asleep in the fourth set. In the third set, I should say. That one comes all the way over there. They have to scramble to get this one across, and they manage to do so. Good defense there by Stonebridge. They managed to keep the ball alive. The spike attempt right there, but Snyder keeps it alive for Atley. There's the spike attempt. Good play right there by Carly Suber to get the point for Atley. Now Atley is really working hard to battle back, but they let themselves get into the early hole. You got to play to close this out. Suber with the serve. And a good dig there by Stonebridge. Nice spike, but a terrific block right there by Clark Tyler. She absolutely shut the door on Stonebridge in that kill attempt. There's that right here. Trying once again. This time they're not going to try to challenge her on that one. And they're going to rule a double there on Atley. So Stonebridge gets the point. Stonebridge really starting to take command here. Let's hope they can hold on to it. Things get really interesting in the fifth set. There's the serve right there. Hits off the top, still in play. Atley gets it across, bounces it off the net, and it's now 14-9. Brantley now setting up right there. There's the hit. Good little spike right there. And Atley is going to go down six. Boy, Stonebridge trying to make a miracle here. Oh, and Brantley puts that one into the net to give it back to Atley. But not before they have. But not before they have a 15 to 10 lead. There's the hit right there. Oh, and a terrific block there on the front line by Kaylee Moody. And boy, she just dominates that net. She's winning those battles almost every time tonight. 15 to 11. Here comes Clark Tyler trying to get something going. Fairchild digs it out. Here comes the spike attempt. Great play. Somehow the Raiders kept it alive. But a good spike right there knocks the Raiders back, but they still have it alive. And it falls harmlessly to the ground before they can get it back over. Stonebridge back up by five. Here comes Megan Bren. Good serve right there. Atlee bumps and serves. Good block right there. And it's going to be ruled a point for Stonebridge now at 17. Hey. 
The Atlee fans trying to get their team going as Bren sets up and hits the ball over. There's the set. Oh, and a beautiful block on the front line. Libby Haslett and Ryan Ackerman both on the spot right there to knock it down. Stonebridge now up seven and timeout. If you want to talk about momentum swings, in a matter of one set, we've seen it go from everything going Atlee's way to Stonebridge taking control. Nope. And they are excited over there in that huddle. They are excited. They are seven points away from forcing a fifth and deciding set. And if it goes to the fifth set, you would have to think that the momentum has to go in the direction of whoever won set four. Yeah, you, you would definitely think so, especially from a team that's battling back. Has all the momentum going their way. I mean, you just look at how excited these young ladies are right now. They know that everything is going their way, and they are hungry. They want to get this. They want to get this. And Bren sets up right there, up seven. Jump serve. Good little bump right there by, Sto by Atley. Good spike. Man, just to get it across and get a point for the, for the Raiders. Haley Brooks setting up here for Atley. There's the serve. Good dig there to keep it alive. Stowbridge gets it across! But no, they're gonna say that they are gonna rule that it was out. They're gonna rule it was outside the pole, so it's a point for Atley. That's two in a row for Atley. There's the serve, but it goes right into the net. Stonebridge now six points away. Boy, Coach Jill Rashator is really excited right now for her Bulldogs. Fairchild with the serve. There's the set. And a nice block once again. That was Shannon Williams that time with the block. The 20 to 13, our score. Fairchild serves it. Atley sets it up. The spike attempt. They managed to get it over this time. There's the set, good floater, but the Raiders keep it alive. Fairchild bumps it, there's the set. There's the spike, it bumps up. Atley trying their best to keep themselves in it here in this set. It's up, it's over, and it's inbounds for Stonebridge. No, correction, no, they ruled it out of bounds for Atley. Boy, Stonebridge really needs to have this killer instinct right now to put this away. 20 to 14, there's the serve by Stone by Atley. Stonebridge keeps it up. Bren gets it back over the front to Atley's side. And it goes into the net right there. 21 to 14, Stonebridge over Atley. How's this for exciting state tournament action? No questions here. All of it here on the VHSL Network. Sydney Gill with the serve. There's the bump right there. There's the serve right there. Almost got that one. Raiders keep it alive. There's the set and the spike. Somehow it's still alive. Great spike. They're going to rule it out of bounds. 21, 22, I should say, to 14. Stonebridge so close to forcing this fifth set. And that would be huge for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs wanting to get anything that they can get in this situation. There's the serve. Snyder keeps it alive. Good spike right there, but now the Bulldogs keep it alive. Good block there by the Raiders. Great hustle by the Bulldogs to try to keep that play alive. We've only got so many bodies to dive on the floor. No question about that. Here comes, here comes Snyder with the serve attempt. She gets it across. Fairchild with the bump. There's the set and the spike. And a great block right there. Ryan Ackerman. Oh, man. Is she taking over or what? No question about that. That's got to be at least three points on in this entire game that was that have been earned on the block like that. 
Oh, they're going to rule a double on that one. Stonebridge only has two points to go. And they got to have this killer instinct to put it away. Silence these Atlee fans. I don't think that's going to happen, though. Not at all. Rachel Stanford setting up here uh, for Atlee to try to get back into this. There's the serve. Fairchild digs it out. There's the serve attempt. Gets it off. And there it goes out of bounds. Shannon Williams gets credit for that one, and it's game point. One to go for the Bulldogs. We are witnessing the comeback of comebacks here. We are looking at an opportunity to set it to a fifth set. There's the serve, the bump. There's the set. Taylor gets it. They're going to rule it out, and we're going to a fifth set. Unbelievable. As a good friend, Bruce Bornarth, would put it, how do you like me now? <laughs> oh, my heavens. We are in for a terrific finish here in this terrific state semifinal game. It's going to be one set to decide it all, to decide who goes. To decide who goes to the state championship game on Saturday night. Two games apiece for both teams. We're going to go ahead and step aside for a moment. We'll be back with the fifth and deciding game right after this. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're going to come at you. One shot. Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. One game to decide who is going to the state finals on Saturday night here between the Stonebridge Bulldogs and the Atlee Raiders. Stonebridge, after getting destroyed in the third set, come back and do the same thing to the Atlee Raiders in the fourth set. Now you just hear the fans going crazy in the background. Again, the rules of this are simple. You only need 15 points to win the third set, but you still have to win by two points in this situation. 15 points, it'll go, it should go quick. But this, honestly, Tim, comes down to whichever team is gonna execute the best, make the least mistakes. You cannot afford to make costly mistakes or service errors right now because those are points to the other team. And when you're only going to 15, those can add up quick. And then you find yourselves buried in a hole that you just cannot get out of. Well, this has been a very exciting day, and let's also not forget that we still have one other game here tonight, the other semifinal between Kellum and Langley. Winners of those two games will play for the state championship Saturday night, 7 p.m., right here in the Siegel Center. So here we go. This is going... You just hear the chants and everything just going crazy on this one. People are looking forward to this one. They want... We want some action right here. Stonebridge, Atley, both teams trying their best. Both teams looking for an opportunity to win their very first state volleyball championship in AAA. So here we go. Megan Bren setting up for the opening serve. There's a nice little opener right there. Bump by Atley. And and the Raiders are going to take the first point. The Raiders really want to steal the momentum early, and that's key in a fifth set since volleyball really does rely so much on momentum. There's the serve by Atley, and that one's going to land in. 
And boy, that's a communication mistake. You cannot have those if you're Stonebridge. No one called the ball, and they just both kind of watched it go by. Stonebridge is, Stonebridge is down, but they're total, they are definitely not out of this. they got to shake those off. Good little spike right there, and Stonebridge is going to cut the, their deficit in half. We'll see if Stonebridge can rattle off a few points here. So we see Fairchild setting up there for the serve. Things are getting edge of your seat intense here. Good little dumper right down there, and we've got a tied set. Ryan Ackerman answers yet again for the Bulldogs. She is absolutely putting the team on her back. Fairchild setting up for the serve once again. There it is right there. And then she aces it right there. Tell me that does not give you momentum. Gives you momentum and gets your blood going. <laughs> you just hear these Stonebridge fans right behind us. They are going nuts here. Fairchild again with the serve. Bumped by Atley. There's the set and the spike. But Atley goes right back and ties the game up. Three to three here in the fifth and deciding set of this first girls volleyball semifinal here at the Siegel Center in Richmond. And boy, Kaylee Moody having none of Stonebridge's excitement. She's going to shut the door quick. She wants to shut the door. Kyla Blackmore with the serve. Stonebridge with the bump. There's the hit right there. Goes right back up. The set, the spike right there, and it's going to land. They're going to rule that it went off of a player. And Atley has a 4-3 lead. And boy, things getting intense here. You can kind of sense the momentum is deadlocked at every point. It seems like it shifts the other way. There's the serve by Atley. There's the set. And that one's going to go out of bounds. Oh, boy. Atley now up 5-3. Stonebridge has got to... Get on top of this. They're down in a two-point deficit. There's the serve by Atley. They got to find something here. Stonebridge sets in spikes. Snyder keeps it alive. There's a good little bump right there. There's the set. Stonebridge with the spike. Nice little floater over the top there by Ryan Ackerman once again. And the biggest thing here is who's going to be able to, to play the best defense as well. Executing and playing the best defense and making sure that you're not having any breakdowns. Sydney Gill with the serve right there. Snyder bumps it up. There's the set. Then the spike. They're going to rule that one off of Stonebridge. And so now it's 6-4 to four here in the fifth set. And Stonebridge has been in this position too many times today, being down two points and not being able to rally because of mistakes or just not – putting it together once they manage to, to side out. I mean, we're seeing now here comes Snyder with the serve. There's the set, a bump, and there's the spike. Somehow Atley stays with it. They got to get it over here. They do, but Stonebridge keeps it alive. Ackerman again with the hit. There's Atley once again. There's the set. That one's got to go in. And Seven Atley. to four. Atley playing with a killer instinct right now. Trying to bury the Bulldogs here in the fifth set. They're up by three. They're almost halfway home. You can sense the momentum shifting towards Atley right now. No question about that. Stonebridge has got to do something to stop that momentum. There's the serve by Snyder. Bump by Fairchild. There's the set by Ackerman. Nice little floater right there. Now there's a bump. And there's the set. They're going to hit this one back over. Snyder gets it back up. There's the hit. There's the little spike right there. Fairchild gets it over, and it's going to go out of bounds. Atley halfway home to being one of, the, one of the finalists. Timeout Stonebridge. And here we go. Stonebridge has got to get it together. They're starting to play like Atley has the momentum. They're getting a little slow again, and Atley is just – Trying to crush the ball every time they touch it. That's the way Stonebridge has got to get right now. Have that, that killer instinct. You see the assistant coaches over there. I assume that that's uh, Casey Ogden and Bill Wassum trying to get the fans here for Atlee fired up. The 
The Atley Raiders trying to get something going here. And here comes Snyder setting up for the serve. There's the bump, the set. Nice little floater right there, and Stonebridge gets back on the scoreboard. They're only down three, but you got to remember, we're going to 15, not to not 25. Not to 25 here. Ackerman with the serve. There's the bump. That one goes just a little bit over at the last second, and Atlee is now up at nine. And see, here we go again. Stonebridge manages to side out, get a point, and a chance to cut into the lead, but they just cannot seem to rattle off back-to-back -back points. And they changed the call. Stonebridge is going to get the point. Oh, my heavens. That is just such a surprise right there. And I know that Atlee cannot be happy with that one at all. Atlee faithful, not pleased at all. Stonebridge happy as a clam. Here comes Ackerman right here. Eight to six, our score. There's the hit. Snyder with the bump. There's the set, but it's going to float over. And They're going to call a double. They're going to call a double on Stonebridge. Eight to seven here in the fifth set. And here come oh. these Bulldog fans. Hold on to your hats, folks. We're not done yet. There's the bump. There's the set. The spike for, Stone, for Atlee. Stonebridge now setting it up here. Gets it across. Good block right there by the Bulldogs. They try to set it up right there. Raiders trying to do that. Fairchild keeps it in play. Gets it across. And it's going backwards. And Stonebridge is going to tie the final set up. Ackerman with another play. And time out, Atley. You want to talk about momentum changing right there. That's absolutely phenomenal. I mean, you just hear all this going on right now. It's... Tied at eight apiece, only seven points away from a state championship berth for both of these teams. They want nothing more than to get that, get that moment. Stonebridge trying to get back into this, and here comes Ackerman. Here comes Ackerman with the set. There's the serve. There's the bump, the set. They're trying to get the spike right there, but it's not going to work. Now the Bulldogs get it back over. Raiders trying to get an advantage right there, and they get the point. Oh, boy. Carly Suber with a monster kill. Some of the, the Raider fans affectionately call her Super Suber. They want to get something going here. Here comes Rachel Stanford with the serve. There's the serve right there. That one goes too long, and it's tied at nine. Stonebridge has got to rattle off a few points in a row here. You cannot trade at this stage of the game. They've got to get back-to-back -back points. That's something they've struggled to do. Shannon Williams with the serve. There's the bump. There's the set. Good spike, and it lands in bounds. 10-9, Atley. And that's a defensive breakdown there. It's something you cannot have. The, the backside of the floor was wide open. There's the spike. There's the serve right there by Atley. There's the serve right there. They set this one up. Good play right there, but they managed to keep it going. A nice floater right there, but it's still alive. Stonebridge trying to get any kind of advantage they can. They knock Snyder back, but a great block right there. Holy smokes. It is 10 all. 
Five points separating each team from a trip to Saturday night. Almost getting the ace right there. There's the spike, good block at the front line. Ball gets skied up into the air. They gotta get it across here. There's the set, the spike and a good block there at the front. Four hits there ruled on the Bulldogs. Great block by Clark Tyler. Boy, this game is nail biting, exciting, and suspenseful, you name it. Whoever is going to make this, whoever wins this game will have certainly earned it. Tyler gets the serve right there, but she they rule that it lands in bounds. And Stonebridge is going to call their final timeout. You can definitely tell that the Stonebridge that the Stonebridge players. I got a good look at Ryan Ackerman. She was not happy at all with that call by the official. Atley now three points away from a trip to Saturday night. They are gonna try to do this right here. Tyler with the serve. There's the set, there's the spike right there, and it lands in bounds. Stonebridge pulls to within one. And this is huge here. We are getting in the last moments of this game. We are in the last four points of this game. Just still remember, you still have to win by two at this stage. Bren with the serve. There's the bump, there's the set, the spike by Atley. And Stonebridge keeps it alive. Gets it across, lands on the line inbounds, and it's 12 all. My goodness. I mean, what would you rather want here? This is state tournament action at its finest here on the VHSL network. Megan Bren setting up for the serve. There it goes. A bump. There's the set by Atley and the spike. It gets passed. They're going to rule it grazed off a of Stowbridge defender. Atley takes the point. Here they come. There's the serve right there. But she skies it long, and it's now 13 all. Like seriously, this is incredible. Fairchild setting up here for the serve. There's the serve. The bump by Snyder, the set, the spike. That one's going out. Atley gets to match point. The Atley Raiders at match point. Kyla Blackmore setting up for the serve. There's the serve right there. There's the bump. There's the set. The spike gets it across, but Atley keeps it alive. Atley with the spike. And it goes out of bounds. And the Atley Raiders are going to the state championship. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my heavens. Fantastic finish here at this semifinal game. Congratulations go to both teams. I can definitely see that the Stonebridge girls are not at all happy with how this one ended up, but they played a valiant game in this one, and they deserve all the credit in the world. So a terrific job on the part of both folks, both teams on this. They all tried their best and they made it happen here tonight. And I'm sure that the girls uh, for, uh, from Ashburn are gonna be uh, living with this and it's gonna be a long ride back to Ashburn, but 
they've got absolutely nothing to be d disappointed about with the way they play today. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to step aside here. That's going to do it for this broadcast. But we are, we'll be back in a few moments with the game between Kellum and Langley. This has been a presentation of the VHSL Network on Play on Sports. For Tyler Jensen, I'm Tim Blank. We'll be back in just a few moments.